heading right into this. I'm going to give you an overview of everything and then we'll go kind of deep dived into each little compartment drawer area. You know, you'll see. Anyway, so this is the background for all of my videos and it is my makeup desk. Sometimes it changes, things are a little bit different once in a while. Um, I'm actually in my bedroom. I keep all my brushes right here on the side of my desk as well as any larger palettes go on this side of the desk. So Sorry if the audio isn't amazing throughout this video. I also have all of these acrylic drawers on here and we'll go through those. My books for my YouTube ideas, all of my videos, like I do whatever kind of research I need to do. I also have this Impressions Vanity Light. Not the best light ever. Hey, I'm in my shorts. Who would have thought? <laughs> so yeah, not the best light ever. It actually ended up busting on me not too long after I bought it and now it will not like stay. But the actual lighting itself is pretty damn good. I actually really like it. It's upside down right now. That's why it's like this. <laughs> but it's just because when I sit at my desk, the light is a little better this way. Anyway, then we have this little area here. And honestly, what this is, is this is just like every day. So like a shop my stash kind of way for me to be using more products and to be like, you know, retrying products in my collection because everything kind of sits in my Alex Nine drawers over there. So I like to be able to get things out. Also, I have my jewelry. This is all like pretty much all the jewelry I have. I have a little bit down there that used to ha stand in a little stand that I got rid of. Then I have this is all eye pigments. They're eye pigments, glitters. I have a few primers. I'm just going to move this candle. I have a few primers that I couldn't fit down below here. But other than that, this is all pretty eye pigments. I know. We will be going through that. Then I have my little caddy. This is like my everyday caddy. It holds, this is like the top is all like new stuff, stuff that's like newly in my collection. Then I have sponges and all that jazz down here. My tape, hairbrushes, lashes that I never use, um, wipes because I always use wipes before I do my makeup in the morning. And then we have like a mishmash of bunch of hair stuff and all that kind of stuff and a heating vent that nobody wanted to see. I also have this little caddy that I wanted to show. It's just extra brushes, self tanning stuff, and just like a bunch of extra kind of beauty contact lenses, all that good stuff. Then we have the Alex nine drawers. This is actually for my cats so that they can jump up on here. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through these drawers today as well so much to go through. All right, let's start over here. We're going to start going through these drawers and yeah, let's uh let's set this camera up so you don't have to see me doing this camera all business right, all guys. day. All right, guys. So as we start up here, I figured we'd start right here in this little area, this little drawer function I have going down here. The first one we have here, I'm actually the first one, two, three, four, and even almost five are all my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. And you can see, I love Super Shock Shadows. I fell in love with this formula when they first started doing, you know, like when I first started getting into them, which was probably five years ago. And I bought their birthday collection, which was 25 Super Shock Shadows. Like, how ridiculous. So I have a ton of them. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. I'm going to pull this one out just to show you guys. We shouldn't be swatching, but I'm not going to swatch it. I'm just going to hold it. This one is the Dream Lover. Look at that. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. So yes, I have a ton of them and I don't get nearly enough use out of them. And I also have some yellowy gold ones. This is actually a NYX, uh, what do they call this? This is their shadow jelly. I am not in love with this. This is not my favorite product. But it is in there because I ran out of room. Oh 
over there. All right, so next one is open mascaras that I have not enjoyed, and I'm actually going to move you guys out. All right, so the next one we have is just mascaras that are open. This one's actually not open. Oh, actually, you know what? These three aren't open, but these ones are actually open. And they're just, I'm trying to work through mascaras. I always make the mistake. I get a new mascara and I use it. And then I'm like, oh, let's open this one. Can't, can't do that anymore. Okay. I know I have a problem. I like concealers. I didn't realize I had a problem until I started going through and I'm like, you know what? I really need to do a declutter as well. This maracuja oil is leaking in here. I can feel it. Anyway, concealers, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, Benefit, Hourglass, Quo. In there. Then we have, oh look, more concealers. Who would have thought, right? Uh, this is Milani, one of my favorite concealers. The Tarte Maracuja as well, really good. L'Oreal Infallible, Wet n Wild, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, Maybelline Age Rewind, Cover Girl. This one's kind of crap, but it's good for your eyebrows. Uh, this one as well, I'm terrible. Ugh. It's the Camouflage, the Slim Matic Camouflage by Catrice. Really don't like that. Big one, Juvia's Place. And then this little baby is actually a Dior Forever Skin Corrector. This is really good. Anyway. Did she knock on the door? I swear I heard a knock. All right. Who would have thought more concealers, guys? Ooh, my teeth were in there. Sorry about that. Anyway concealers galore some more we have the catrice this is the primer as well as the concealer a sephora one what is this this is urban decay smith and cold i really don't like that one this born to glow i like this is the dermacol aoa studios this is the bourgeois healthy mix ew this one needs to be thrown out the bh cosmetics then we have elf elf and more elf so much elf all right, do I have to move the camera down? Probably not. Next one, we have cream bronzers and some correctors. I really need to probably throw these correctors out. I never use a corrector. And then we have all my cream bronzers. We have Physician's Formula. We have the Fenty, which is so dirty. This one by Pure, I'm not sure about. This one is by Catrice, the Triangle Artist. My favorite one right now is probably either the Mega Glow Makeup Stick by Wet n Wild or this one by Physicians Formula. This one's really good. Although, I haven't had it for that long and I'm noticing some like bumpiness. I don't know. I don't know if I should be keeping that any longer. The next drawer, we have all my cream blushes. These are the Rimmel ones. We have a Maybelline. We have Fenty, which I don't really like. The Milk one. These are my favorite. These are the Physician's Formula. So good. Uh, a CoverGirl and a Milani. Cream blush has been huge this year and for good reason. All right. We're getting down this drawer. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next one, we have all my liquid liners. We have some by like Huda Beauty. I have a Milani. There's some bleach in this or something that I definitely need to clean out. Um, we have some Essence. I have some AOA Studios ones. Oh, there's definitely something in here. I have a Revolution, the Revolution Flick. Ah, uh, some Tarte. KBD Beauty, LA Girl, this Melt Cosmetics in Cultura is really pretty. Lots of liquid liners. Ooh, one of my favorite drawers, and let's just bring you down a little further. One of my favorite drawers is definitely this one, and it's definitely because of the ColourPop liners that I bought this year. These are the cream gel liners. I bought a, like, a pack of like 25 of them and they are awesome. I really hope they do not dry out as badly as some people say because I love them so much. But yeah, as you can see, I also have the Kat Von D. These are their multi sticks or the KVD multi sticks. Oh, I am so sorry. I thought I was doing so well. Um, also, I have some Urban Decay in here. Uh, these are the NYX Epic Wear. Some of them are okay, some of them are not. 
Is this another? No, that's cream gel liner. Yeah, anyway, lots of liners. A drawer I essentially never go into is my lip liner drawer. A lot of them are from NYX, um, Milani Essence. I have a, ooh, I should put this somewhere else. This is the Bite Lip Liner Lip Plumping Crayon. But yeah, just a, a podge podge of liners that I keep just in case I, just in case I need one. <laughs> Next drawer. This is the primers for the eyes. I have the Anastasia Glitter Primer. I have these liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in White. This one I've been actually really enjoying. This is just the Wet n Wild Lipstick in White. They do this around like uh, holidays and stuff. Works really good. I have a full uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I don't like this primer at all. Honestly, I should give that away. Another cat suit. Ooh, this is so good. This is literally like a glitter glue. This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. So good. And then I also have like the Cut Crease Canvas, a little one of the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, which is all right. I have a new one that I need to add to there now. All right, the rest is brow products. So we've got all my brow pencils, so many brands, you know, we've got Cooktrice, we've got Wet n Wild, we've got NYX, we have got this Benefit, which is in a pencil that is a little bit too light for me, which really sucks. I have the, oh my gosh, look at my MAC Shape and Shade, such bad shape, so good though. Ooh, and this is another one, I bought this and I very rarely use this, and I've been using the NYX one. Why have I been using the NYX one? This is the Anastasia, the uh, brow pen. So good. I've been really into those like, little liquid liner pens. It's been it's been up my alley. Again, we have like some brow pomades and all that good stuff. Um, the Anastasia one, Benefit, Anastasia pomade, Cat or KVD Beauty brow struck. Oh, I love this. This is an Anastasia brow powder in medium brown. Literally, take a look. I have a truck kind of in my parking lot right now. Look at how much I've used that. That's insane. I love brow powders. And the last drawer in this craziness is more brow kits. This is all my actual brow kits. They're all brow powders. I have like the uh, foolproof, bow, blah, blah, foolproof Brow Powder by Benefit, an Essence one, a Milani one. I have the NYX Double Down Brow in here. Um, one from the Dollar Store by Beauty Benefits. It's just okay. Um, the NYX one, which like seriously, I... I've used this to death and I just don't want to throw it out because it shows me that I really loved it. And then also like look at this wet and wild one. I really loved on these products. Actually, now that I look at these, like look at the essence one. I loved on all of these like really hard. Wow. I like brow powder and I like brow kits and I like brow gels. I don't do my brows like that that much anymore, but you can see that I did love them at one point. Okay, let's move on to another section because we'll be here all day if I don't. All right, I'm not going to go through every product in this caddy, but essentially the way I have it worked out, come here caddy, is that all of my bigger palette products go up here. So it like usually every month, most of the time I try to do it every month. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out like that, but I try to pick out new face palettes and normally this is all face and some eyes down at the bottom. So here I have like these Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, the Pure Nude Highlighting Palette, so pretty. I have an Hourglass Palette, I have Too Faced Contouring Palette, which I don't really think I like. Uh, this is the Marc Jacobs, I think this is the Tantastic, Tantric. This is the Tantric Bronzer, really nice actually. I have a MAC Hyper Real, these are really pretty. And then this one I actually use today, Black Radiance. 
It's a brand that just came into my Rexall. And then I also have this. This is the Be A Light from Becca. I use this so much. This is a product that is so, so underrated. And then underneath here, the smaller products. So I have like tons of blushes and bronzers. I have like a new Milani bronzer I wanted to try. I have my Stay Matte by Rimmel. I have, this one is also by, what is that brand called again? Oh my gosh, Black Radiance. This is their like baked bronzer, really cute compact. Uh, Rimmel Highlight, which it should actually be over here because it's a brand new product. I also have the Sunlight Highlighter from Remlon as well as the bronzer in here. And then just some more products, you know, the Mario Badescu, this is their Master Prep Eye. Just like kind of newer product. Um, Sungasm by Catrice. Ooh, this one. This is so weirdly controversial. The cover effects, uh, these were their monochromatic blush duos. This one is in Moj Mojave Mob. This is the only one I ended up getting. I don't love this side, but the matte brown or the matte blush is actually really pretty. And then just some more like setting powders, Too Faced Banana Powder, which I actually like quite a bit and have used quite a lot. And then this I am literally almost done with. This is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Look it, almost done. Like I'm so proud of myself here. Oh, oh my God, please don't, don't wreck it. And then just some smaller products. Oh, I have not even like really swatched this. It came in like a set. Ooh, these are, oh, creamy for Matt, or for Elf. Ooh, that one was insanely creamy. They look nice. I'm gonna use these. This came in like one of those little holiday sets from e.l.f. I just threw it in there. I haven't even touched it. Okay, a powder that I don't think I like. I actually don't think I like this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrushed Flawless Finish. And I don't think I love this powder. I've used it and used it and I just don't think I love this powder. I don't know. I gotta use it some more. I gotta use it like consecutively and see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up real quick and then we can continue. All right, and then just down below, I have some random eyeshadow palettes. I am going to give away a little secret here. I don't know when this video will be up. I hope I can edit it soon, but I am doing a whole week of using the Jawbreaker palette by um, Jeffree Star to see if I want to declutter it or not. I have three days in. I, today I did a different look because I wanted to film it. I wanted to do a get ready with me but I've been using it for the past three days, I think. Yeah, three days. So yeah, anyway, Starlux. This contains an eyeshadow that I just cannot believe that Elf did, or Elf, that Wet n Wild did. It is so beautiful. And with a little bit of setting spray, that is so impactful and it's kind of like this goldy pink shade really love that i'm gonna throw that in here actually just because it's easier then i was also doing i think i was doing a video with this this is the milani pure passion not quite sure why that's in here i've got long nails so i can't pick anything up uh, i've got the venus matt actually picked this out i used this uh, a couple weeks ago and i just have not put it back such a pretty palette by the way and then i also last but not least get out of here i have the nyx escape paw or escape artist palette in here as well which isn't a bad palette actually i wish that would stand up um no judgment allowed um <laughs> I'm trying to get it center for you guys. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so our four, four, first drawer here. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so we have these Kat Von D Dazzle Sticks. They're just okay, honestly. 
Uh, Milani, these, oh, what are these even called? Hypnotic Lights. I have two of these. I very rarely use these. Then I have two of the CoverGirl ones, which I just realized are quite hard to get out of here. This one's so pretty though. And of course, no shade. Shade two, very doubtful. I'm not going to swatch just because I know if I swatch, I am just going to end up getting crazy. And then lastly, I have these ones from uh, Go To Beauty, which is the Daniel Brigoli brand. And these ones are actually really pretty. This one, especially this pink one. It's got like silver glitter with a pink base. So that's what you're working with with those. Ooh, a couple things that I haven't even used, honestly, so bad. So we have some of the Pixie by Petra. These are their fairy lights. Really pretty, really sparkly. I have one of the, this is from their Tutti Frutti collection. Uh, their Citrus Mistress. So pretty. This one is a multi-chrome by Dominique Cosmetics in Pretty Wild. And yes, it is a literal multi-chrome on your eyes. I have one from e.l.f. And then I have one from Black Radiance, the Lid Glitz. I have not used this yet. And this one is in the shade Paparazzi. And it's just like straight glitter, it looks like. I'm kind of excited to use it. I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, then we have some more like eye base type of deal. We have like these Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows. I have one of the Chroma Crystals from Natasha Denona. Don't like it. Um, I also have these ones by Alme, which I don't really love either. These are the Violet Eyelet and Lunar Disco. These are like eye pigments. And then these Suva Beauty, they're amazing, but I have watery eyes. So I will not be buying any more of those because it doesn't work out for me in the this long run. Drawer, which is, ooh, okay, this one got covered in my silver pigment, which is in this thing somewhere. This is the Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow. Sorry. This is the Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow by Maybelline. These are actually not too bad. I just found like this one was a little bit hard to blend. The color itself is actually quite pretty. It's like this deep mahogany type of shade. I don't know. I'd like to actually just use the shadow and see what happens but I just haven't. Anyway, so we also, I have this little Violet Voss. Um, I have not even used this, I don't think. This came in like a Sephora Favorites kind of deal. Uh, it's in Dream. Then I have a Caviar Stick. Ooh, I don't know. In Amethyst. Some of those e.l.f. Uh, cream shadows. Really don't like those. Some of my favorite cream shadows of all time. These are the Chroma Crystals by Natasha Denona. So amazing. I have a video on those. And then we have a couple liquid Stila. These are like those Stila ones. I do not buy these anymore because they dry out way too quickly. I, I very, like, I don't get to this stuff as often as I should. So I really like need something to last for a while. Anyway, continuing with more pigments, we have, this is, oh, this is so pretty. This is the Chroma Crystal Top Coat. This is the one in Burnt Terracotta. This is so pretty. Then we have two of the Tarte uh, Chrome Paints. I have Wild at Wild at Heart and Fire Dancer. This one's so pretty. I have a single eyeshadow in Half Baked. Never, like literally, I think I swatched it. Um, never use single eyeshadows normally. I have a silver single eyeshadow, which I've used a ton. This is brand new. This is one of the color tattoo uh, in Front Runner. It's like a champagne shade. And then I also have this Kat Von D. This is the glitter gel in uh, Tesoro Gold. And it is really pretty. Actually, let's open this one because I want to see what it looks like now. I really tried to, yeah. It is so dried out. What a waste of money. Hmm. 
yeah that one is just gonna go in the trash it's uh it's pretty dry let's just throw that up there anyway so after i just got it all over my fingers i have a little room here so we're just gonna throw this little quo uh this one is deep sea this is so pretty let me open this for you quo is kind of killing it with some of their products i did use this and it was really pretty so oh and then one thing that i really want to mention because a lot of the time essence does not keep the same products around all the time they melted chrome eyeshadows go get one of these go get a color it's so pretty i love these this one is really nice oh look at that so nice love that love that love that anyways and those are the essence melted chrome eyeshadows just got an eyelash all right so here we have some little like glitters and whatnot i have the uh collection from us uh, anastasia beverly hills for last year's christmas it was glitters i've yet to actually put what color glitter these are because they're all iridescent glitters so you literally cannot tell i also have these multi-chrome flakies these are from shine by sd cosmetics they are so beautiful get in there they are so freaking beautiful i'm sure you can even just see like right there i also have one of these color pop glitters this one is in avenue of the stars i really love this it's like a multi kind of glitter and then i have another anastasia product in here which is the Di daiquiri loose pigment it is so pretty i need to make this into like a uh highlighter or something like that okay Ooh. there we go all right next drawer um i'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit so that you can see a little better uh this one is all like pigments these are the old ColourPop loose pigments like oh my god right this is so beautiful this is the kvd crystal rose cream foil Longwear eyeshadow if you can pick one of these up i highly recommend it they have another one too that i didn't pick up because it just it was in a shade that i didn't need it was like a taupey shade also if you ever go to dollar tree and you see these mariposa metallic eyeshadows if you wet these eyeshadows they are so beautiful and they're a literal buck also i have this which used to be one of my favorite eyeshadows my mother-in-law gave me like this this weird kit like those kits that you do for christmas and this shade i wore it so much there's even a picture on my old instagram account oh gosh then we also have an aoa studios velour eyeshadow i've yet to use this i don't think i have oh my shoot i need to use this of course in my favorite shade essentially like that pinky mauvey shade I am insanely obsessed and it's ridiculous. I need to grab something for my hand now. All right, onward. Next drawer. Oh no, don't miss one more pigments my friends like who would have guessed it let's like zoom out a little bit more pigments who would have guessed it i have this is from an old like um makeup forever kit christmas kit they gave two glitters and two pigments then i also have one from mac which has two pigments and two glitters i have a little glitter from or no this is a pigment from billy and then i also have a quo pigment which is so pretty i'm sorry i wasn't showing you that that whole time and then i also have this aoa pigment so beautiful so freaking gorgeous it was so pretty and these are some dawn eyes pigments before they redid their site and like stopped selling them 
I made an order before they ended up doing that. I had a whole bunch of them. I also have some pixie glitters, a very old Rimmel um, eyeshadow palette that belonged to my Nana that I used when I was a very young child that I am keeping. And then I also have like this Toasty Wet n Wild Cream Shadow. This is a Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz Diamond Light Finisher. This is the Nemesis. This is the Mayron Metallic Powder got everywhere is still amazing can't throw it out it's the best silver ever if you want something with a mixing medium this is also great though this is the l'oreal they have some new eyeshadows out they are the oil eyeshadow oil eyeshadow foil is it foil i just wanted eyeshadow? to touch i don't know kind of a little bit and show you guys a little bit of what sits in the top of this caddy it's all new stuff, mostly. Um, I was using this today for a video, so that's why it's in here. But mostly new stuff. I actually broke this already. Like, honestly, Melissa, what is wrong with you? Anyway, new stuff. Let's get into so the big So we're drawer. at my Alex 9 drawers, and we're going to open up drawer number one. And if you saw my declutters, you're going to see, like, you're you're going to notice it's, it's somewhat the same thing. I did do a little bit of reorganizing, though, so some things are a little bit different. Foundations, powders. I went on a foundation kick. I actually have more foundations, so I have no idea. Like, I need some more drawers soon. Uh, but we have powders here wet and wild we have oh i gotta use this again the aoa studios i have the mac studio fix like brightening powder wet and wild oh my god this one's huge like this is a ridiculous amount of powder fit me peach perfect oh becca which is getting absolutely everywhere let's put that back Let's not blow on that. I have the RCMA powder, a uh, couple little setting uh, setting sprays here that I couldn't fit in my caddy, and then foundation heaven. Uh, Clinique, let's see, this is a Pacifica, Juvia's Place, Stellar, Wet n Wild, Fenty Beauty, Infallible, way back here is a really expensive one that I got the wrong freaking shade of, yeah. Uh, the MAC Studio Fix, um, and then it literally, it goes on for a bit. There's the LA Colors. This is in the wrong shade as well. A couple wrong shaded foundations. Back here, I have some ones that I really don't like. Um, actually, I don't mind this one, the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Uh, but this one, I really did not enjoy. This is the Dewy Finish. Not that good, in my opinion, at least. I need to try it again probably because my taste in foundation is changing as I get older. All right. Oh goodness. Let's try and fit that back in the drawer. Next drawer, we have lips. Let's bring you guys down a little bit. Have lips. I have reorganized this and made my lips two drawers right now. So here we have all like my liquid lipstick kind of deals. I have NYX, I have Anastasia, Physician's Formula, and then like some, uh, this one is the Anastasia, their lip stain, e.l.f. I have Too Faced, I have a lip gloss from Maybelline, their new uh, lifting gloss. Uh, Color Pop back here. I have some AOA Diamond Lip Gloss. So pretty. The Urban Decay Vice Palette. Literally just using it as a storage device. And then I also have the Anastasia Lip Palette as well back there. And then another drawer of lippies. Who would have thought? Let's just. point you guys down a little bit further so we have some buxom lip glosses I have all my Fenty lip glosses as well then I have Mac in the back here Mac in the back as well as some Smashbox these are their be legendary lip glosses then I have some physicians formula hard candy Ooh, this one's from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a bunch of lipsticks here ranging like, oh my gosh, these are so pretty from 
Too Faced. Such a pretty lipstick. Let's put the right one on. Then there's also like some Wet n Wild. These white ones, they're like their satin finish, are so pretty. And then I have a ton of minis. This is a mini Jouer set, which has their liquid lipsticks and a few of their lip toppers. I have a bunch of Anastasia lippies, as well as the MAC ones that are all back here. This was a collection I got a couple of years ago. Um, or no, last year? No, this year, dummy. You literally just got those. I have a few little baby bite ones. I love little baby lipsticks because I don't wear a ton of lipstick. I also have these ones are brand new. These are the KVD Beauty. These are the EXO Vinyl Lip Creams. These are really nice, like really pretty, really pigmented. <clears throat> okay, guys, I have to dump my memory card. So we're actually going to go on to blushes and bronzers and highlighters next. So stay tuned, of course. All right, guys, so we are now into the more like blush and bronzer drawer. So so much here i need to use so much of this product it's not even funny first thing we've got here is all my wet and wild blushes and highlighters this is the bloom time let's see if i can actually show you this properly then we have winter falls in la it is a limited edition one we have the bloom glow we have the Precious Petals, and then we have two of their Baked Blushes, one in Hummingbird Hype, and one in Don't Flutter Yourself. And then last but not least is their bronzer that they brought out in that, like, dragon. And it is so used. My camera keeps, like, doing some weird stuff, so don't mind me so yeah i have those right there in the corner and there oh i just broke the bronzer so used then i have these which is a tart release they look like this these were pretty. What else do we have in here? We have some Becca. Oh, that one's so pretty. This one is Snapdragon. Ooh, I love these blushes from Clinique. Clinique Rosy Pop. And some ColourPop. MAC, this is their Cheeky Bits. Some Milani, Wet n Wild, Essence. I have some Patrick Ta. This is one of her, his, this is one of his uh, duos. We have some Natasha Denona. Ooh, this is so good. Nick's che uh, Sweet Cheeks, so pretty. This one is in Summer Breeze. We have the new CoverGirl blushes. This I love, and I don't think you can get this anymore. This is the e.l.f. Aqua uh, Pink Beige. Oh, loved this so much. I also have back here, these I don't love as much. These are the Hello Halo blush lighters not as much love for those ones then over in this corner i have some other like highlighty blushy things this is ooh, i haven't used this oh this is so pretty this is the nyx ombre blush i need to use this this needs to kind of go over here okay and then we've got some minis this is the natasha dono bronze and glow some mini tart a mini Fenty bronzer, didn't love that. 
oh, my favorite essence bronzers. These are, or blushes, I should say. The Satin Touch. I need to buy some new ones. Those are old. Uh, these are the NYX blushes. The really, really bright colors. And then I have some Anastasia bronzer. And, ooh, these Alme ones are really nice, too. Those are really pretty. These are the Alme Healthy Hues. This is Pink Flush. All right, and that, oh, no, and I forgot this one as well. This is the Jouer Blush. This one I got in Kiss Me and Touch Me. This is so pretty. Like, look at that. It looks a little... worn out. All right, guys, let's go into the next drawer. Hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. It's getting like further down. So I'm like, Ugh. all right, highlighters, so many highlighters. These are all of my like loose highlighters, my single highlighters, ones that are just like one little pot. I have like wet and wild here. This is the Bretman rock. I have a bunch from Artist Couture. These little tiny ones down here from Artist Couture as well. Uh, this one is from AOA Studios. It's so beautiful. Uh, this one, LA Color, LA Little LA Colors. This is so pretty too. So slept on. They were like a buck. Um, let's see here. Try and keep things in an orderly fashion. I have the NYX High Gloss. Ooh, this is so... Mm. You need to seriously feel this. It's so wet and putty-like. And it's really pretty on the cheeks. I also have this absolutely insanely huge Wet n Wild highlighter. This is so pretty, though. This was like three years ago. This was the favorite highlighter of the year. I remember that. Also have an X. Also have an Elf jelly highlighter. Um, one by Rimmel and one by N Y X. I have ooh these like two years ago. These were also the favorite highlighters. The Light Chaser highlighters. Oh, it's this one. It's like a pink to blue duochrome. Sorry about that. It is so hard for you to see that so pretty but yeah i got those Ooh, i have this one as well this is so pretty both of these are actually really nice this is the aoa studios baked highlighter this is so pretty and then this one glow commotion this is by w7 i got this from a subscriber slash friend on youtube this one is so special as well. The Pixie by Petra. This is their uh, Glowy Gossamer Duo. Oh, wet. I have a Too Faced highlighter. And then here are some Becca, Elf, the ones that you have to scratch off. Then I have these by Catrice. I don't really like these all that much. They're a little too chunky. Ooh, this one by Physicians Formula is so buttery and nice. Then we have some Robbie D. Christie got me to buy this. I don't love it, but it's okay. Then I have the Maybelline Master, one by AOA Studios. This is actually really pretty, but it does have a little bit of glitter in it. Then I have two from ColourPop. This is Spoon and Wisp gosh so many highlighters and then in the back here is like this elf highlighter the pure nude highlighter from essence i have the master chrome and then i have the covergirl super blend true blend not super blend this is actually quite pretty so yeah now we're going to go into palettes. I'm not going to go through every single one of these. It's just going to take forever. <clears throat> oh, 
I'll just skim over what is in this ridiculously large container of face palettes and then the rest is eyeshadow palettes and I don't think I'm going to go through those at all because I just literally just did an eyeshadow palette so you you can go back and look at that one for sure so here we have I've been waiting for the new one of the these from Physicians Formula to come out forever now also so many look at like look at the face palettes so many face palettes they actually fell over. Oh, this is such a good one here. This is by e.l.f. This is their Glow Beam. This is such a cool shade. This is like the type of shade that, um, that, uh, what am I talking about? Natasha Denona has done where it's just like pure shimmer. You cannot see that, but it is like a pure shimmery, kind of glittery, like, oh, it's just such a cool formula. I think it's cool. Ooh, a really, I love this bronzer. This is from Too Faced. This was their Natural Lust bronzer. Such pretty packaging. Look at how much I've used this. I never expected to like this that much. Oh, what else is in here? There's some like, I like to get a little bit of this out some cat kate cat von d when she was still cat von d Ooh, this is so i haven't used this in such a long time oh rach loves and pixie did a collab these are so pretty I need to use that more often. I need to like get in here more often. Ooh, another thing that's so nice. Natural face palette. I am a face palette junkie, as you can see. But yeah, so tons and tons of face palettes. Then as you go down, it's all eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes galore. I'm just gonna take you off your leash. And as you can see, it's all so many eyeshadow palettes. And if you want to see my eyeshadow palette collection. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. So many. Like, and I just posted. Sorry, you're seeing the plug. But I don't want to, like, disconnect my camera because I'm thinking it might actually give up on me. So, yeah, guys, let's zoom you out. That is the Alex Nine drawers. So I have one little area left on my desk and it is actually, get out of here, Jeffrey Jesus, this bottom drawer area and this bottom drawer area. So the first area over here is usually where I will put, yes, that's a mini fridge, my husband insisted, where I usually will put new things that I am going to review, uh, videos that I want to talk about. I love doing videos where I collect palettes and talk about them. I have new, like newish winter palettes, palettes that are awesome for winter right there. Um, like that's the palettes I'm using. And then over here, I actually went through some of my oldest palettes to see what shade I use the most in palettes. And I am very, I'm very confused as to what actually happened there. So I'm waiting to film those videos. And yeah, that usually sits in there. And then over here is all of my like hair stuff. It's just all hair stuff, just like up here where I have like my um, jewelry and all that kind of stuff. And then I usually go up here and this is like my empties and perfumes, me and my dad and, you know, deodorants and all that crazy stuff. And then there's another little shelf up there, my paintings, pictures, yada yada, angry grandpa. And yeah, guys, like we can go a little bit down further here. And like, this is like extra filming equipment. Uh, these here are all my backgrounds and stuff for when I take photos for Instagram, swatch stuff. Um, you know, I've got like some of the bigger palettes up here. Uh, Morphe, Anastasia. This is the Jaclyn Hill, another Morphe 
because of course they make big huge honking palettes <laughs> but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video it was really fun to film for you guys it has taken me literally two hours to go through everything but I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I hope the sound is all right because I know that I am right behind the camera so yeah Mwah. thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day night evening whatever bye